Why am I flying? Oh. I'm not flying, I'm just... Those are my man. Who is this guy? Eh, can't be. I'm not really interested in this dude. V, do you have a moment? Need to talk? I mean, no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better Let to. Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. What the... Why? What's up with the bikes, man? Gotta go by the can. Okay, so. Oh, I can level up. That's cool. Let's see here, what else do I want? Assault, handguns. There we go. station is doing a little bit better. There we go. There should be a quick travel along here somewhere. You'll see what the issue is. No, the rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. V, you're here. Are we preparing for what a visit from doing Biotechnica? Here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I really I'm think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we Get gave- Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Being unusually quiet. What's up? I see no point in arguing with Saul. We can't win. So, giving up? Of course not. We'll take the basilisk ourselves, then wait for Saul to admit we were right. 
Either that, or to boot us out of the family. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to peddle it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like biotechnica. What a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life, yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the <laughs> railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. It's all too... easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks the high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back? Nobody would have given corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. Just need good gear and good jobs. And salt. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. Let's roll. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. <laughs> but are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you 
trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even am. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh, never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie. I'll remember that. Always remember Jackie. Good man. He's a good man. We have arrived. They have arrived. We are here now. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay. Let's get to work. All right. Let's get to work. Quick. Yeah, what can I say? The stairs it is then. Yep, come on, let's get up Even here. If we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. I can see his Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. A light? Not exactly, uh... I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Hey, I think I've nicked everything I can.
Could you help me look? Sure thing. Nothing here. Not here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, it must be here somewhere. V, look thoroughly, please. Nothing here. Indeed. Got something. Good job. Thanks. I'm a professional. No, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm not I'm non professional. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader. Well, V? The card. In the reader? <sighs> Here goes nothing. Wow. That could. Oh. V, I wanted to speak with you. It will not take What did you long. want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I. Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cock this up. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Well, well, well. Convoy, got eyes and ears on it? Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. We got a train to take. We could still get your ass down a minute, honey. Breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way.
That's all. We've quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one, Silver. Oh no. Got two seconds. The stars of them. We've got a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war? Head full of new ideas? and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Wow. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm hmm. Sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. <laughs> uh huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Grown kind of cold out here. Not true, but this is nice. Catch some shit eye with me. Well, well, well. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library too? Of course, that's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? I do not see. Uh, yeah. Oh, there it is. That's a plane. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. <laughs> Good night, B. Good night. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V.
Let's ride. Let's do it. Speed you up. Hey, no hemming and hawing. Take out that coupler. Oh, okay. Uh, two seconds before we jump into this. We're getting close. Get some slow. V, shoot out the damn coupler. Hell yeah. All right. I see them. Surround them as soon as they're cut off. Leg shot. Shit, that train moved quick. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. The real fun's just starting, boys. Someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. Mm. Perfect timing for them or for us? That is the question. I can talk to him if you want. 
No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Oh, he's coming over here. Okay. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. Here comes Grumpy Pants. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. What a... And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. What a douche can I... Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. I got an idea. He's got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. <clears throat> all right. Is there anything here I can sell and buy or really? The Delamain? Why is that here? <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Well, I really need this otter. Yes? Uh, What's up? No. I have cumin and chili. Want to see what you got in stock? Yeah, uh huh. Yes. Browse to your heart's content. I will browse to my heart's content. Don't you worry. <clears throat> Ooh, A revolver. A scope new yeah. <clears throat> there we go. Ah, perk point available.
want to see what you got in stock. Only the baddest firearms in all the bad lands. Isn't that why you're back? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. <clears throat> a monkey wrench does more than a katana. That makes no sense. <laughs> Doesn't seem like you get a lot of customers, huh? True, but I get by from my regulars. Well, how's that? They buy a new iron every week? They bring them in for repair. The sand, it gets into every opening, every little crack. You gotta take them apart, air blast them every... Hmm. <clears throat> he doesn't really have anything that I really want, though, does he? No, not really. Is this supposed to be my place? Like it's like, oh, here, here's a place for you to stay, and it's like someone's in there already. And where's Pan Am? Like vanish. <clears throat> You're about to know my rat. So we can conversate later. Know why I read? Because only fiction is capable of conjuring up any kind of sense about this world.
Hi there, V. No complications with Kang Tao. So far, so good. They sent another patrol around the station. But their dead set that it was Rafa that down there AV and attacked Helmut's guards. Station's proprietor sticking to that person. Hi there, V. How's it going with Rogue? It's going. Knock on wood. So, things are settled? For now, we're good at avoiding each other. And that's fine with me. <clears throat> Leave the camp and wait a day. All right, let's do that. Leave the camp and wait a day. Oh. Oh. Relic malfunctioning. That's great. It's not working. We may go back to my house. Go all the way back to the city or something, I guess. You're worth At least he finally sleeps on the bed like a normal person. Need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if he can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. Be tough getting a word into her. Maman Brigitte. And that sounds like a spooky cult alias. I've not had the pleasure of asking her personally. But it is what everybody calls her. Doubt the title has any real religious weight, though. Voodoo boys play pretty fast and loose with their Haitian heritage. Huh. I was led to believe you could arrange anything. Ah! Now that sounded like my third wife every time she wanted a new purse. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos. Won't talk to lowly me. 
But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. I have a leads, okay. Real man smell. That's hilarious. So Jim Coochie. It's a Jim Coochie dress. Oh. Uh, I definitely don't want to be pulling out weapons in the middle of the street. Keep your head down and listen to me. That understood? So, uh, are we going to talk about yesterday? It's all in the report. All in the report. I'm Jillian Jordan with N54 News, and this is your local latest. Wait, the basilisk. It's red. Would you like to drive it? When using data terms. A sure, be there soon. Fuck me, it is awesome. And so I hear. Yeah. In extreme cases, even death. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat level to red. Residents of Arroyo and Watson are advised not to leave their homes after dark and always ensure easy access to the firearms. Let's go check out the Basilisk, Queen of the Highway. At least the fast travel is pretty quick. Just a little more time. Yeah, yeah, you turn it into a goddamn. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Yeah. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And Saul, what about him? Nothing. For now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Come on, hop in. Everything is set. 
Wait. Uh. Heads attached currently. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you ought to. Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. model but Mitch and Bob did what they could yeah what do you think nice and cozy in here you steer directly from your seat all you have to do is jack in what no knobs buttons blinky doodads no none the impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex in a sense the basilisk becomes an extension of your body Wow. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. Then I trust you. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay, if you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay, this will do fine. Dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am, is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Hey, I don't understand what you meant. Ooh. Warm up. Don't worry, I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. All right, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Way to do it. I'm swerving, Ma. I'm swerving. Right. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Good! They're deader than dirt now. Bullseye! Okay, practice is over. V, do you remember what I said about impulses? Mm hmm Well, watch out now. 
What's happening? I jacked in. Our nervous systems are now linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That why I'm feeling everything doubled? It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to try it out? Okay. Uh, I could go for that. Can you feel that? <laughs> Okie dokie. Honestly, yeah. Uh, no idea how people can focus in combat. It's probably not always this intense. How about this? Well, well, well. <laughs> Okie dokie, everybody. on his or her own must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly. But fine, have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said- I know, but I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay, okay. Well, I, many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. Shit. Did you no, see I'm serious. Connection? We all owe you. So you can count on me, Aldecaldas. No Always. Huh. 
Good to know. Yeah. We can count on the Aldecados. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Hell, leave her alone. Beer me. To happy endings. V? Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. But I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought... Eh, forget about it. I'll think it all over. I pro... Oh no, man down, man down. V? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? Where... Where are we? You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Uh, where? We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Nm, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? You know... Johnny Silverhand. Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's... what? Am, am I not... Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Pan Am, Silverhand's construct is busy wreaking havoc in my head. Impossible. It's not... It's simply impossible. Johnny Silverhand? <laughs> Listen, did you try, you know, talking to someone about this? I tell my therapist a lot of things. But this isn't one of them. Constructs more like a cancer, growing every day. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better, really. Wait, I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, what hey, about a Mitch. flick? We Finally. haven't been out in a while. We were worried. Uh, took good care of your ride. Oh, I know. She's over there. In vitro homicide? But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. Well, his attitude changed quickly. At least we can agree on. 
If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? A oh, nice new camp. I know this area. Back from the old roots. You really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. <laughs> hey there. About time Sleeping Beauty. Yes, yes, yes. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. What will come next? How? V. Back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? One who created the personality construct tech. That's why you met him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Aww. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. Queen of the Highway complete. Oh, yeah. That it? Is there anything else? Where are you going? Come, Come back. On. Just this once. You always choose. But yeah, fine. Uh, this is where she'll sit. Hi there, How's V. It going? Depends on what the it is. And what you want to hear. Oh, you know, the huge. I longed for you, V. Oh, I see you've already played out this conversation all on your own. Force of habit. Pan Am. <laughs> I did, though. I missed you. I want to get myself chipped. Straight to the point. I like it. Oh, Mantis Blades. 22,000. Oh. What else? It ain't cheap, that's for sure. Oh, I like that. Receive health bonus right away. I 
I think that's a good idea. What else? Titanium bones, I got that. Increased carrying capacity, 40%. Oh, I can't, can't double up. That's a shame. Got other business. I too have got Consider this to your lucky day. You hear Pacifica call and you make sweet love to it, that is. Got something for me? Well, it's like I said. Whatever you're peddling, the BDBS are just not in the market. But they have another task that needs doing. So I volunteered you. Do it well, and you'll get your audience with Brigitte. Okay. So who do I talk to and how? Hit the chapel on Sloan. Look for the altar inside. Someone will touch you. Not something spooky. Got it. Thanks. Where are we now? Oh, this is a new. It's a new fast travel point over here. Where do I gotta go? Go into the chapel and we're wait until the church is open. You are V. We have been waiting. In my contact? So we finally gonna tell me about this job? I'm just a man in the middle. You will learn more. Soon. You screening me? See if I came alone. What kind of chrome I got? Is some kind of test? Most people we work with we knew as babies. We know they're angels. You, we do not know. I want to talk with Brigitte. She here somewhere? No. Shopping center by the intersection. Go to the butcher shop there. Ask for Placid. He will tell you the details. What the Placid? Okay. Oh, that's bright. Looking for Placid. Placid. 
Gardez ici là. Do, do, ti, pi, ti, C'est vous même. Continuez. Do, Placide. Do, Gardez là. Ben ça. Oh, great, he's gonna croak it. You proceed. Proceed. Mm hmm. Here I thought selling domesticated fowl was still illegal. Six years, poultry supposedly had the plague. Now all of a sudden, poof, it's clean. This not for sale. What you want? Told me at the chapel you're the one to talk to? Mr. Han sent me. Said you got murk work needs doing. No here. Come with. I don't walk through me, boy. Where are we headed? This way. Welcome to Pacifica. Yeah, feels like a safe area. Nah, you guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outside. Was to be its own city where suits were burned their heads. A close circle. The cops feed the sheep, they spit the cash back out. All the toys here are grown from corpo cash. Our interest is now in the GIM, the Grand Imperial Mall. Pacifica's biggest, ugliest temple to greed, but never finished. Until last week, it was deserted, empty. But now? The animals crawled there, made a nest. Okay, my pal Vini Peter. Let's go. Alright, let's go. You deal with animal before? Yeah, a few times. You want the animals out of the gym? Extinct? That way you hired me? You learn everything soon. All right, I guess so. We're, we're learning soon. I mean, it makes no sense them being here. Middle of Pacifica, no backup, cut off. Your turf. Hell, even badges don't patrol around here. Uh huh. They're trying to provoke you, make you do something stupid. They do not leave Gaim. How many we talking about in there? Daddy, maybe more. Finina, we talk here. You sit. When do I see Brigitte? You do job. That is first. Whoa, what the hell are you doing? Well, at least he's not likely to talk your ears bloody. Got a feeling we're not going to become best friends. No chemistry. <laughs> I will survive. Evelyn Parker. Ring a bell? Not one of us. She did work for you once. Why not send your own goons to the gym? It's not our way. 
How's that been working out for you? What good, good more than bad. Good more than bad. Come, shaman. It is Victor. Is that at all relevant, or just a cheap scare tactic? I need you to be able. I need no. This chip. It have no signature. What is it? Nah, unimportant. Busted anyway. Hmm. How? Got a bullet to the brain. Hasn't worked since. That's how. Hmm. Once inside, what do I do? The communet. Twenty thirty-five zero seven. Three seconds before, poof. We try to learn where the camionette come from. Van's definitely a custom job. I see you not know also. Hey, just trying to piece the facts together. Tech looks pretty advanced. Doesn't scream meathead to me. They watch it very close. It is important, whatever it Placid. is. Placid. Batman Kelly have this and i Femme Butler. Time for a break? Think you might be needed. They will manage, fine. You focus. Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle, someone else needed them. Someone with a van full of Netrunner tech. And that's where I come in? To sniff out who? Mm -hmm. Start with the communet. Hide from all eyes. Only see the city as you. You have, have now seen with Rizzo Agwe, our subnet. Why? What for? You are, you are my vessel now. now. Do I see what, see what you, you see? He what, what you hear. I will, I will guide, guide you to him. Another voice in your head. Just what the Ripper Doc ordered. So, aim to keep an eye on me. <laughs> Shows trust. All right. Anything else I should know? Find our people near Mall. They will show you how to get inside the beast. My pay. How much we talking, and how am I gonna collect? And say you not in this for cash. You in this for problem. Do GIM for us. Brigitte can solve it. Uh-huh. Except then I found out you need me to be a bullet trap on enemy turf. That means my fee's just gone up. Mm, we will see. No promise. Got it. So I do this, and you put me in front of Brigitte, right? Yes. Suti at the end of the hall. Go down, my people will let you pass. We are done. Well, we are done indeed. And I am going to wrap things up there. Well, go. We will continue everything in the next session. Um, if I don't get any more sessions in this week, then it will probably be next Monday. And uh, yeah, you can also catch my VODs on YouTube as well as my other gaming content. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for joining me. I have once again been a non-professional gamer. That's a wrap. Exit is over there.